Greetings, Brainiacs, and welcome to BrainScan, your favorite first-person preview of all the new releases for New Comic Book Day at Green Brain Comics. Woo! Woo! <laughs> hey everybody! Welcome to Brain Scan! <laughs> Our weekly scan of the shelves where we show you all of the new comics that are hitting the shelves this week, mm -hmm. Wednesday, June 12th, Woo! 2019. I'm Katie. And I'm Shay. Let's get ready to look at some new comics! Woo! We've got so many new comics today. We're going to go real quick and show you everything. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh. Starting with whoop, whoop, it, Swamp Monsters. This is a new release from Yo Books oh. and IDW with hey, a special Craig. introduction by Stephen R. Bissett. Classic Monsters of Pre-Code Horror Comics. Mm. Before they thought, before they realized that comics are bad for kids. And then they realized, comics. comics are good for everybody. Yay. Well, I mean, there's comics for every audience. Mm -hmm. You can't paint all comics with a broad brush of good or bad for kids. That's right. Some are good for kids, some not so good for kids. And we're starting out on the mature side, that's so... That's not so for kids, we'll but that's okay. We'll close out with all the kids' stuff. So we have Achilles, Inc., number three. Amber Blake, number four, and we also have a second print of number one. If you missed it the first time, well, now you have a second chance. We also have Bad Luck Chuck, number three of four. We were supposed to get this a couple of weeks ago. We finally got replacements. Hooray! Ah, a new number one from Action Lab, Banja X or Banjax? Mm hmm. Banjax. <laughs> and then we got Bronze Age Boogie, number three. Calamity Kate number four. I think this is the final issue of the miniseries. Oh. Carson of Venus, Warlord of Mars number one. A real sweet Michael Kaluta cover. And up on our top shelf, The Boys Omnibus Volume 2. Just in time. Coming soon on Prime Video. Oh, it's Wee Huey. Aw. He's so wee. Also, Chopper Wandering Spirit. Or by Brendan McCarthy. Yeah, this is all Brendan McCarthy stuff. It's pretty nice. beautiful. Including Judge Dredd. Woo! <laughs> and Dark Souls, The Age of Fire, trade paperback. I think this is written by the same guy that did that void trip. Ryan oh, O'Sullivan. Oh, yeah, that's correct. That's yeah. awesome. Great observation, Dan. Yay, <laughs> I'm observant. <laughs> and okay. Then we have... Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, number six. Oh, that beautiful Lindsner cover with uh, interiors by Dave Acosta. Very nice. Hey, Elvira. Glow, number two. Gogor, number two. Gogor. Grumble, number seven. For all you Pug fans, up on the top. Firebrand, the initiation of Natalie Prezano. Oh, it's a hit webtoon series now in oh, print form. Nice. That's oh, nice. Wow. That's awesome. Good for them. Good for them. And <laughs> back down. House of Whispers, number 10. Ice Cream Man, Creepiness, number th volume 3. This, cr this cover is not creepy, though. No, oh, it's weird. not. It's actually really colorful and nice. James Bond Origin, number 10. Oops, I got ahead of you. <laughs> the Debt. Nice Dampin' Origin cover. Joe Gollum, Occult Detective, The Conjurers, number two. Very nice. Hey, it's by Mike McNola. Who knew? It's, a, it's that guy. <laughs> the Life and Death of Toyo Harada, number four of six. Oh, we have another cover on this? Look at this. Ooh, Ooh pretty. Ooh. That's uh, Nen Chang. Yes. I remembered. Yay nice. for remembering. Lollipop Kids Collected, volume one. The Mall, number four. This series has been doing real good. Man Eaters, volume two. <gasps> yes. Mega Ghost, number five of five. That's a cool cover. Morning in America, number four. Hmm, nothing on the top here. All right. Moving over to the side. 
Oblivion song by Robert Kirkman and some news. Uh, yeah, I hear that just got picked up for an option for a movie. Ooh. A lot of buzz around that. Exciting news. Ooh, one of my favorite books is Outer Darkness, and we have number seven this week. I love this book so much. <laughs> it's so awesome. Prodigy number six of six into the series. Ooh. Red Sonia, Birth of the She Devil, number one. That's a pretty cover. Yeah, Lucio Perillo. Oh, yeah. Uh, who's got the B on this one? Do we have a B on this one? I don't think. Yes, oh, we do. Yeah, um, ooh. Uh, Sergio de Villa. Great. Rick and Morty presents Mr. Meeseeks. Nice. <laughs> the A and B cover on these. Aww. 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 Let's look what they got roped into. They're so happy. <laughs> they got to do some plumbing. Ride, a new number one from Image. Doug Wagner writing with uh, a couple different stories in here and a couple different covers. One Adam Hughes Beautiful. and series artist uh, Matthew Hillard. Hilliard. And also just a fun fact, Adam Hughes does interior art for a cover for a story in the back. Yeah, it's pretty oh. too. It's awesome. And it's my pick of the week. <gasps> she could fly number three of five. The Lost Pilot. Sonata, number one, from Image. This book looks beautiful. Uh, with a B cover. Whoa. Both by series artist Brian Haberlin. There you go. There's your sneak peek of that Very beautiful nice. art. Spencer and Locke, two, number three. John Carpenter's Tales of Science Fiction, Surviving Nuclear Attack, issue one of five. Get the facts. Well, by our top shelf for trades, we have Predator Hunters 2, Volume 2. Ooh. Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> and back down, we have Trust Fall, number one, from Aftershock. I kind of wanted to make this my pick of the week, because it's pretty, with art by Chris Visions. Hooray. It looks real nice. It looks real nice from the cover. The Umbrella Academy oh. Hotel Oblivion, probably, maybe, I don't know, number seven. Yep. <laughs> Uh, Gabriel Ba and uh, uh, the other brother doing covers. Other brother covers. Fabio Moon. Fabio Moon. Fabio yeah. Moon. United States That's versus pretty. Murder Inc. Trade paperback. Unnatural, another one of my favorite books. Number uh, ten of twelve with only two issues left. It's been a great story. I love this book. How are you gonna pick your pick? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> v Wars, God of Death. A one shot. And we got a B cover on this one as well. Oh. Oh. I hear this just got picked up or is already in development for Netflix or something like that. Oh, well, that's exciting. So, good to get that back on the shelf. Well, it looks like that wraps up our action adventure shelf. And now we're moving on. All right. Now we're going to show you. Oh, now we're going to say hi to some people? <laughs> yeah, as we transition, I want to say hey to Javieri, uh, Frank Guerrero, Eddie Wright. Uh, Frank says, hello, Green Brain Crew. Hey, hello, Frank. Hello, uh, William Brame <laughs> is watching, and <laughs> David William Moore Brain. says, hey, guys, how's everyone doing? Fantastic. We're so good, oh, David, William now that Brain. you've joined us. William Brame, B-R-A-M-E. Oh, Brame. It's almost Brain. Almost. Awesome. <laughs> he's really smart to watch this. So he, well, I just thought, like, like Green Brain. Right on. <laughs> And on to the indie graphic novels. Angola Jenga, Kingdom of Runaway Slaves. It's from the same creator of the runaway hit, Run For It. The Grave from Dan Farga. Fraga. This is a, this is a graphic novel Looks where spooky. each panel is done one per day. Oh, wow. Very ah. cool. Mm. <laughs> Lorna by Benji Nate. Who did Catboy? And I love Catboy. Oh, it has cats on it. Yeah. And Catboy. Same Pretty. creator. Awesome. Nice. I'm standing on a million lives. Whoa. Volume oh. one. Looks like a Frazetta painting modified to manga style. Moonshadow, the definitive edition. Ooh. From J.M. D. Mateus and John J. Muth. So beautiful. beautiful. John J. Muth is a big name in children's novels now, or oh, really? children's uh, picture books. Oh. He's got a new one coming out soon. Penny Nichols. 
by M.K. Reed, Greg Means, and Matt Weigel. I know M.K. Reed. Nice. Hey, M.K. <laughs> What's up? Rust Belt from Sean <laughs> Knickerbocker. This Love So Brief, short stories by Fred Chow. I've enjoyed stuff by, by Fred Chow in the past. It's good to have him back on the shelf. Awesome. And while we're transitioning over to the front of the store, I guess the, the service area, I'll say hey to Johnny Adkins who says, hello, comic friends. Hello, Johnny Adkins. Oh, uh -oh. <laughs> Shay's doing some hasty, uh, what a, what a race wiping. Yes. <laughs> Let's see what we got on the brain activity schedule for this week. Looks like coming up we have Ann Arbor Comics Arts Festival, Kids Read Comics at the Ann Arbor District Library, Saturday and Sunday from 15th through the 16th. So that's this weekend. It is the 10th anniversary of a 2 calf presented by Kids Read Comics. For 10 years, we have been helping put on this amazing event, and they have a star-studded lineup of guests this year, including Raina Telgemeier, Lucy Neasley, uh, Wendy and Richard Peeney, and a whole bunch of others. Go to the hucaf.com website and see all the cool talent that is going to be there, workshops, projects, uh, activities all weekend, and most of all, it's free! free! The Friday preceding is also Incubate, which is workshops all day uh, and talks for librarians, educators, and other creators. So check that out as well. So it's three days of events, super fun time. This weekend, come out to Ann Arbor, say hi to all these cool folks, bring the kids, it's all for free. Oh, yeah. And on a related note, we will be out there all weekend, so the kids will be taking oh, okay. care of the store, and <laughs> they have set up a nice little discount for our indie back issues we're doing a 10th anniversary sale to celebrate 10 years of kids read comics and a2 calf giving all of our indie back issues 50 percent off that's right half off all of our indie back issues hey also it could be the 10th anniversary of krc sale but also on a quick side note this saturday officially marks Green Brain Comics, owned by Dan and Katie, for 20 years. What? It is our 20th anniversary of owning the store on Saturday, which is kicking off our 20th anniversary summer of super fun events. Woo! All summer long. Woo! We got an uh, action-packed summer, new events, recurring events, super fun things happening all summer, super special sales like this, 50% off back issue sale, all kinds of cool stuff happening all summer long. Happy 20th anniversary. Green brain. Woohoo! Also coming up this Monday is our monthly brain candy event. Always fun uh, live art music and readings. And our Green Brain Book Club featuring Laura Dean Keeps Breaking Up With Me on Friday, June 28th. And while we have erased it off of our driver's <laughs> board, I want to thank everybody that made it out to the Godzilla screening last Saturday night. It was a super fun time. They had a huge crowd come out and it was super awesome. Thanks everybody for coming out. Thank you. Yeah, we had a big pop when I went up on stage and said hey to all the Brainiacs out there. So thank you so much for coming out and supporting the Senate Theater. Yay. Yay. Okay, let's check a, take a look at some variants this week. Ooh. We have. We've got the Fantastic Four variant that we got uh, damaged a couple of weeks ago. This is from Bill uh. Sienkiewicz, and it's, and it's that robot, uh, Herbie, the fake robot sidekick for the Fantastic Four. Johnny Five? Because <laughs> Johnny Storm wasn't a good example for kids back then. Aww. And we also have a variant for Silver Surfer Black. I believe this is Gerard Peril. Wow, nice. Uh, let's see. Also, Spider-Man... Oh, it's Life the... Life Story, number four. Spider-Man in the 90s. That uh, that looks very 90s. Yes. And that is by Kari Andrews. We've got a 1 in 10 variant for Trust Fall by Claire Rowe. And we've also recently dug up the retailer exclusive variant for Sonata, number one, that we got from Comics Pro. Nice. This is going for big money on eBay, oh, so really? this may be your last chance to see it. And also the uh, spec websites brought our attention to these fine two variants to uh, Venom and Symbiote Spider-Man. We're keeping them at cover price, uh, but because of their uh, fairly rare nature with the blood variants on the logos, 
Uh, we are making them one per person. That's right. One. While supplies last. We got a few things up on the front counter here. We got the Stanley Lau Art Germ <gasps> poster portfolio. This is all artwork from Art Germ covers throughout the DC universe. A very beautiful thing. And also... Oh, it's 20 removable posters. Oh, yeah. So they're like perforated on the spine. So you can pull them out, frame them, put them up on your wall. That's awesome. And uh, it's also too big for our shelf. So it's up on the counter. It's big. And... Ooh. Wave two of the Batman black and white mini figs blind bags have finally appeared, <gasps> featuring all kinds of different cool things that I can't read. <laughs> oh, it, there's a mystery villain. Well, we got a Batman by Eduardo Rizzo, Mike Allred, John, uh, John, John Romita Jr., Jr. Gary Frank, and a Robin by Frank Quietly. Uh, these blind bag figs are five bucks a piece, and they go quick, folks. Yes, they do. All right, so before we jump into the DC shelf, I want to say hey to John Miller, who says, hey, hey Green John. Brainers. Hey, John. And into the DC. Oh. Into the DC. We have Batman Detective Comics 1005. With a variant cover by somebody who did that? Ste I can't remember. Stephen, I don't know how to pronounce his oh, name. Oh, that's Sajik. Sajik, yes, yeah. Is. Okay, cool. Nice. It looks good. Batman and the Outsiders, number two. Tyler Kirkham, regular cover, and Otto Schmidt yes. on the B. <laughs> I like the German <laughs> accent you threw in there. Schmidt. Otto Schmidt. Spiderman. Batman, who laughs, number six of seven. Who has the last laugh with a beautiful variant cover by Jenny Frizen, actually. Nice. Isn't that cool? Jenny Frizen can do beautiful, and she could do creepy. Terrifying. Ooh. <laughs> Catwoman number 12 with a beautiful A cover by Joelle Jones, of course, and an awesome, beautiful cover by Stanley Art Germ Lau. Wow, I like the little throwback to the, the classic. She's turning the page. Yeah, I think that's even the pose from that cover, that nice. classic cover. A little modernized up a little bit. It looks really good. That's an awesome. And then we have Event Leviathan by Brian Michael Bendis and Alex Maleev. Yep. Yes. Number one, six issue mystery thriller. It's an Alex Maleev cover for A and a... Kenneth Rockefort. Right, right, good one. Yeah, it looks so good. I like his art too. <laughs> this looks to be a big thing for this summer, folks. The greatest detectives hunt our greatest threat. Whoa. Creepy. It's like a predator kind of looking guy. He's got many mouths. He's got, yeah. Flash, number 72, Rise of the Rogues, with a cover. Beautiful beat by Derek Chu. That's nice. Very nice. Hawkman, Awakening, trade paperback. I think this is volume one of the current series, or is that volume two? Yep, that's volume one. Oh, whoop, whoop. Whoop. And Great that job. damaged copy is cover <laughs> B of number 13 by Brian Hitch. Ooh. Oh. Oh. And... Uh, a B cover by Lee and Hyuk. Right. That's pretty. Very nice. Justice League Odyssey number 10. Ooh. Ooh very nice. I Lucia think that's Lucio Carrillo. Carrillo. Yep. Yeah, that is. Yep. Nice. That's uh, <laughs> Jennifer Cruz. Jessica Cruz. Right, right. Red Hood Outlaw number 35. Nice Cully Hamner cover. And, and B cover by Yasmin Country. Ah, right. Supergirl number 31. Covered by Amanda Connor and last name Mounts. Can't remember yeah. the first name. And the B is by Yannick Paquette. Yeah. Ooh, that's Ooh. all creepy. Yeah, it is. And then we have a Superman number 12. Uh, Ivan Reese cover. And a B cover by... Adam Hughes. Adam Hughes. Look at how iconic that is. Look at it. It's so nice. Reminds me of the old Max Fleischer cartoon design. Yeah. yeah. And then we have Terrifics Volume 2. Tom Strong and the Terrifics. Then we have Wonder Twins number 5 of 6. Wonder Twin Powers Activate, form of a variant cover. <laughs> Look at, I don't know that artist, but it reminds me of Ken Stacy. Yeah. <laughs> it's sure. really cool. 
I like it, and it's like super tiny in here. Wonder Woman so number fast. 72 with a B cover by <gasps> Jenny Prison. So pretty. That's nice. I love all her covers. Yeah, they're always so good. <laughs> and that so does good. it for DC Comics. Uh, I think we're caught up. <laughs> Into the Marvel with War of the Realms as Guardians of the Galaxy, number 10. I think this might be the final issue, or it's the final part of the story for sure. It's the final part of the story. <laughs> Avengers No Road Home trade paperback. Is this all 16 issues? In... I don't think so. It's probably... It's like maybe half of it? Yeah. It doesn't say volume one. Uh, Champions, number six. Another War of the Realms tie-in. Ooh, the big hit of this year, Immortal Hulk, number 19. Nice abomination cover <gasps> by Alex Ross and a B cover uh, celebrating uh, 80 years of Marvel or Marvel's 25th, I don't know. Oh, it's the 25th anniversary of the Marvel series uh, by Greg Smallwood. Awesome. Very nice. I like that cover a lot. Up on the top shelf, Age of Conan, Bailey. With beautiful cover by Sana Takeda, of course. Four of five. Hulk Vereen's trade paperback. Nice Greg Land cover. Invaders, number six. <laughs> <laughs> Williams is Ironheart number seven. Guest starring uh, the Unstoppable oh, yeah. Wasp. Yep, yep, there she is. Major X number five of six. With a big surprising reveal <gasps> at the end. It's a major reveal. Come on. A major oh, reveal. Oh, oh. That's good. <laughs> Look at this new series. <gasps> it's Silver Surfer Black number one. By Donny Cates and Trad Moore. Ooh. This is a nice Trad Moore cover. We also have a B cover by... Uh, uh, somebody, somebody. Ron Lim. Nice. Silver Surfer Black. This ties nicely into pretty much everything that Donny Cates has written. Oh. oh. Amazing Spider-Man, number 23. Nice Ryan Otley cover and a Marvel's 25th anniversary cover by uh, Paulo Rivera, I think. Sure. Spider Forgot to look. Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man, number seven. That's a Andrew Robinson cover. Pray to the Prowler. Pray to the Prowler? <laughs> Question mark. <laughs> Spider-Man Life Story number four, the 90s, as uh, previewed up at the variant shelf. Symbiote Spider-Man, three of five. It's a Ron Lim cover. War of the Realms tie-in, the Superior Spider-Man number s oh, 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 oh. Sorry, back up. Just That's a, a show a off. Greg <laughs> Land variant cover. <laughs> nice. With the blood splatters on it. <laughs> uh, Superior Spider-Man number seven. War of the Realms. War of the Realms. Okay, moving on up. True Believers. True Believers. Oh, nice. oh first Punisher. And yeah. um, <laughs> she hops away. Sorry. <laughs> Punisher number 12. Oh, with a beautiful Greg Smallwood cover. True Believers number one. Amazing Spider-Man new costume. Sure. What was happening here? It's the costume. Is he wrapping him up? I mean, what? The? Okay. <laughs> I love it. It's They're hugging. Everybody's hugging. A classic reprint of the first appearance of Morbius. A monster the called. Living Vampire. Morbius. <laughs> I like how he's, this is where he's got all the extra arms, but his, the arms don't have a costume. He didn't make them yet. They just sprouted out. Six arm Spider Man. Okay. It's a thing. Yeah. Amazing Spider Man versus the Hulk. I also like how he's got a green tongue. Nice. But he's not green himself. Yeah, he's Grey Hulk with green tongue. That's and last week. That's last week. <laughs> Moving back down. A War of the Realms tie in Unbeatable Squirrel Girl, number 45. Squirrel Soup. What? Venom, number 15, also tying in to War of the Realms. Mm -hmm. The War of the Realms Giant Man, three of three. So giant. 
It's a paste magazine required reading. Oh. What does that mean? Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, in here it says, hey, big head. <laughs> <laughs> nice. X-Force, number nine, with Rachel Summers. Yeah. As merging as the Phoenix. Apocalypse and the Extracts, number four of five, and Age of X Men. Age of X Men continues. Marvelous X Men, five of five, wrapping up this miniseries, and Age of X Men continues story part. And thing. one last thing up on the top here. Oh. <laughs> War of the Realms, second printing of number three, in case you missed it the first time around. Yeah, this looks like a new cover. I don't remember it, seeing this one before. totally a new cover. <laughs> wow. Totally. They've, they've been extracting panels or pages from the interiors for these second printings lately, but ah. I don't know. There you go. That wraps it up for Marvel. All new, all different. Woo! Woo! <laughs> Moving on over to Star Wars. We only got one thing on wow. the Star Wars shelf. That's okay. We have Star Wars Vader Dark Visions number five of five, but that is a cool cover. That for is sure. amazing cover. It's yes. awesome. Oh, yeah. Kaleidoscope. Vader cool. Skull. Kaleidy. <laughs> and then on our YA shelf, we have Archie and Sabrina number one of five, but it is 705 of Archie forever. <laughs> <laughs> Legacy <Aww>. numbering. <laughs> Oh, greetings Look at that beautiful York. cover. That's, That's cool. nice. Mm -hmm. I like oh, that. Oh, that's uh, Tyler Boss. Guy that did the art for uh, Four Kids Walk Into a Bank. Oh, oh nice. nice. I like this cover, too. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Horrible trade paperback. This is a new printing with extra stuff. I assure you, this distressed look of this cover is intentional. <laughs> it's not all damaged. It's meant to look like that. I get my hair cut that way. Jughead's Time Police, number one. Oops, sorry, Sharon. No, you're fine. That's, that's okay. Hey, look, we got a Time Police. And, <laughs> yeah, Got a Jughead. Frank Avia cover and a hat cover. Oh, that yeah, hat, there it is. Uh, after Kirby is just amazing. Nice. Kind of love that. <laughs> this book is written by Cena Grace. Oh, we have Kim Reaper, Vampire Island, volume two. Well, volume two, Vampire Island. Number one is different. <laughs> uh, this is an early series by creator Sarah Grayley, who's now coming to her own and uh, has got that new Minecraft graphic novel out. And Glitch. And Glitch, yeah. We have Star Trek number five of six, The Q Conflict. Star Trek versus Transformers <gasps> trade paperback. Because, sure, why not? Oh, and check this out. We have Transformers number seven. Check it out. It's what? a cool trading card. Trading card game. Yeah, awesome. this is a booster pack from the new game that uh, just is hitting the shelves pretty soon. Wow. Nice. Look at that. How oh, cool. Alrighty. I think we got some YA graphic novels over here. One yes. One here. Here we go. <laughs> we got... Comey Can't Communicate, Volume 1. Uh-oh. Social Anxieties on Parade. <laughs> it's awesome. And moving on over. Uh, well, let's go backwards. Uh, no, let's go forwards. Okay. Uh, what? Sure. On our all ages graphic novel shelf, we have Hangry. <laughs> he's hungry. He's angry. He's hangry. By Drew Rockington of Castronauts. Oh, awesome. Yes. The Singing Rock and other brand new fairy tales. Beautiful art. I'm not familiar with these creators, but yeah, this book looks pretty. The Worst Book Ever by Elise Gravel. <laughs> she came out with the Mushroom Book and Please Return to Something Somebody. What was that other book? Please, yeah, yeah. Yep. If Found, Please if Return. Found. Yeah. Elise yeah. yeah. <laughs> Couple more things over here on the tween shelf. My Little Pony, A Day in the Life of Equestria, Quest, Questria, sorry, the manga. Isn't that cute? And then we have The Only Living Girl, the hit series of The Only Living Boy. It's a continuation, and that's awesome. And then we have, of course, Only Living Boy. And then we got Plants vs. Zombies, Snow Thanks. <laughs> Snow Thanks. Just in time for summer. Oh, well. Pokemon, the movie, The Power of Us, Zeto Oda Story. 
Sea Sirens, a Trot and Cap and Bill adventure. Ooh, this is by Amy Chu with art by Janet Lee. Very cool painted look. Ooh. And then we got volume six of Splatoon. This series has been doing super great. Super hot. Everybody loves Splatoon. Yay. We've got a couple more things over on the periodical shelf. Let's see what we got here. Archie and Friends, number one, beach party. Look at even hot dogs having a beach party. <laughs> oh, hot dog. Oh, hot dog. <laughs> he knows how to dance. He's doing the hot dog. <laughs> He's doing the hot dog. Betty and Veronica, friends forever. Trade paperback. Goosebumps, number two, horrors of the witch house. And down on the bottom. Disney Pixar Incredibles 2 Secret Identities, three of three. And finally, Last but not least, The Secret Life of Pets, number two. Yay! And that is all of the new releases hitting the shelf Holy moly. this week. So many. I hope Fair we did life. good time-wise. Oh, we're right on track. Oh, we did it. Yeah. We did it. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us on BrainScan. Tune in for our stream every Tuesday at 6.30 later on our YouTube channel. So be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, all those things. If you're watching us on YouTube, click the little bell so you get notified every time a new video gets updated, uploaded, so that you huh. never miss an episode. And stay up to date on all of our happenings. We are Green Brain Comics on Facebook, Tumblr, and Instagram. But on Twitter, we are Green Brain CMX. We are spreading the love of comics and graphic novels from the heart of East Downtown Dearborn since 1985. Feed your brain! At Green Brain Comics. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Bye. See you on Wednesday for your new comics. Thanks for watching, everybody. Feed your brain.